raining in stilettos From here clear down to Mexico My hands are numb From hanging on that steering wheel They're frozen tight Hope the wind don't blow me off the road tonight Don't you know the ice and snow Sneaking in through my window Don't you know how much I hate to be So cold and so alone I'm coming home If it wasn't for the lines that wind side by side I'd be lying next to her Next to her tonight So long and I so green She's the prettiest girl I ever seen Don't you know the ice and snow It's sneaking through this boy's window Don't you know how much I hate to be So cold and so alone I'm coming home It wasn't for the lines that went side by Next to her, next to her tonight Travelers were nearly trapped by an avalanche that crossed Highway 40 in Bertha Pass this morning. You can see here the two college friends traveling in rough road conditions, luckily stopping before their car was nearly buried by that slide. We spoke with a pair earlier who says the avalanche was nearly 8 to 10 feet tall. If we had been closer to the avalanche, if we'd actually been in its path, we would have been submerged. We would have been submerged. Definitely got the heart pounding. You know it. Uh, the two put their blinkers on to alert drivers behind them, potentially preventing accidents. And their message to other drivers in the high country, always expect the unexpected. Be prepared. This The mountains are wild. You know, like Sam said, even though it's a road that people travel all the time and it seems very well maintained, avalanches are a fact of life here in Colorado. And thankfully, no one was injured. So the last, um, the last decline before the sharp left-hand turn that brings you down toward the resort um, is where it happened. We were going pretty slowly as we were in that last um, stretch. And I think Sam noticed something first. Yeah. Because we weren't going that fast, uh, I had time to hit my flashers, and we ended up stopping maybe 100 feet from it. But we were the first car uh, to be there. Since we were in a car, if we had been closer to the avalanche, or if we'd actually been in its path, we would have been submerged. We would have been submerged. Fortunately, a snowplow just came about five minutes later and they began to push some of it out. So I uh, immediately I saw the avalanche and, I, and all these memories from my avalanche training came rushing forward about, OK, has anybody been caught up in this? What am I going to do here? Is this going to be a stable um, snowfield? And uh, my advice to people who drive in the mountains in the winter um, is do what apparently the guys in the pickup truck and I do. 
I've got a backpack in the car. It's got sleeping bags. It's got cell phone chargers. It's got water and food. And I've got a shovel. And this is actually the first time I had to use any of them. The mountains are wild. You know, like Sam said, even though it's a road that people travel all the time and it seems very well maintained, avalanches are a fact of life here in Colorado. 